Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am home from vacation. This is probably going to be your first video that you see post vacation, and we are super excited to be back. And with that, I'm going to do like a little reset here in a week or so on my diet. I'm going to go over those details. I know I've kind of been talking about tracking macros or calories or something like that. And so um, we are going to get into the details of kind of my future plans for my diet and my exercise routine. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Yvette Sports, which y'all know that I have been working with them for quite a while now. I love Yvette. I have two new outfits to show y'all today. I am currently wearing one of them, this purple sports bra with matching shorts. I'm going to go over all the details of the outfit with you. And then I also have another beautiful green set to show you as well. This sports bra, I love this uh, pretty green. And then these leggings also. Um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to say a little bit about Yvette Sports. I love working with them. They are a great company. I love wearing their active wear to work out in. I usually wear this whenever I do my strength workouts in the evenings, not necessarily my cardio in the mornings because I get up so early in the mornings. I sleep in my workout clothes, so I just want them to be like comfortable tank tops, knit shorts, or whatever so that I can just get up and put on my shoes and do my workout in the mornings. But I love these for my strength workouts and everything in the evenings. They are definitely squat proof and good for high impact. Another thing that I love about Yvette, everything is just so functional. It fits so well. They have such a wide range of sizes for everybody. Some of their sizes go all the way up to 5XL. I don't know any other activewear brand that has that size range. Everything is like similar to Lululemon quality. Um, the leggings and everything are just super supportive, super stretchy. The shorts as well. Beautiful colors, soft, sustainable fabrics. Um, you know, they just come out with their completely recycled line, which I think is fabulous for the company. There's so many things that I could say about Yvette. Again, they are a great company. They have a wide range of sizes. They do recycle. Um, they have great shipping, uh, free shipping on the weekends. So I highly suggest you jump on there on the weekends and then you can use my discount codes that they have allowed me to share with you, which I will have on the screen here. It is Jennifer15 to save 15% off any order. Or if you order $109 or more, you can use Jennifer20 and save 20% in addition to the free shipping and everything on the weekend. So I highly suggest you jump on there this weekend and snag you up some great activewear. You can't beat it. And without further ado, let's just get into the video and review these clothes. Okay guys, so I hope that you can see this well enough. This is the Enfold Zip Front Sports Bra. This is in a beautiful lavender color. This is the only color that this set comes in. It comes in sizes extra small through 5XL, um, which I think is fabulous. Like I've stated so many times before, that's one of the things that I love about Yvette is their wide range of sizes to fit all body types, all shapes. Yvette is made for any woman and will make you feel beautiful and will make you feel supported in whatever types of exercises that you are doing. This set is definitely designed for high impact. Um, the sports bra has non-removable pads. This is a zip front sports bra, so it is easy to take on and off. You can just put it on like a jacket. It does have a beautiful crisscross back. I'm gonna step up so you can see that. And then also on the shorts, they are high-waisted. They um, definitely hold you in, but look how stretchy they are. You definitely have lots of room to stretch around in them. They should be squat proof. We will check that as well. And again, I just, um, I don't know, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite sets, I think, that they've sent me. It's a cross between this one and then the blue one that I showed last month that was the fully recycled line. Um, you just cannot beat the quality and the price of Yvette Activewear. Highly recommend it. Uh, I'm going to jump into my other set that I have to show, which is this beautiful green color, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the other sports bra that I wanted to show you. This Look how beautiful this color is, first of all. I love this green color. 
Um, this is the Echo, let's see here, what's the name of it? This is the Echo for a Vast Forest um, High Impact Sports Bra. This one um, does not zip up the front or anything, as you can see, but it does have the crisscross in the back and it also has the, you can adjust the um, bandwidth. There's three different hooks here that you can adjust. And then also you can adjust the strap so that it's not pulling too much on your neck. So I love that. The way that I like to put this one on is to go ahead and adjust it. And then I put, you know, I go ahead and clasp it in the back. I usually just go for the middle clasp because that usually works well for me. Um, and then I just put it on over my head like a normal sports bra because I just am not coordinated enough to reach back there and move those hooks myself. But um, this is definitely supportive. I love it. It is um, very stretchy. This sports bra is 75% polyester, which is recycled, and then 25% elastane. This is made for high impact sports. Um, again, like I said, it's got the crisscross adjustable straps that hold you firmly in. Um, and I will say that you are not going to move in this. This is definitely made for high impact. Um, it's gonna hold your girls in. It's gonna be great. Uh, highly recommend it. It has non-removable molded cups, which I love that with the microfiber lining on the inside. Let's see if you can see that. I'm not sure, but it's kind of like a black mesh microfiber inside, which makes it super comfortable and um, it reduces any kind of friction, you know, sweat waking, all of that stuff. This comes in two different colors and this is in sizes extra small to 2XL. And then I also have the leggings to show you as well. Again, the leggings are the same material, 75% polyester, which is recycled, and then 25% elastane. Uh, this is designed for high impact sports. And looky here, girls, I know a lot of y'all ask about this, about the pockets. This set does have pockets in it. Um, I know that everybody wants pockets. It personally doesn't matter to me because I mostly work out at home. Um, but for any of you that want to put your phone in or your keys or whatever, if you're walking outside or going to the gym, then you've got pockets on each side, which I think is fabulous. This also has the high waistband to hold you in, but also look how stretchy this is. For size reference, I'm wearing a large in the sports bra. Again, I am a normally a size 36D, and then I am wearing a medium in the pants. Before I was wearing a large, but they were a little bit loose on me, so we decided to go down to a medium, and I do think that this fit is much better overall. So again, I think this is beautiful. I love this beautiful green color. It is um, squat proof. I'm gonna squat for you and then you'll also see me doing a few squats in my workout room in this outfit as well while I talk about Yvette a little bit. But for both of these sets, I love them. I don't really know which one is my favorite. I would probably say the, the lavender because of its shorts, but honestly, so far, these are probably the best fitting leggings. I don't know if it's just because I went down to a size medium or what, but they're super comfy, super stretchy. I don't know, I love it. I love Yvette. I just cannot say enough about them and the quality of their clothes, the range of their sizes, and you know, the recycled materials that they use. Not all companies do that and you cannot beat their prices. Again, I'm gonna put it on the screen here again, my discount codes for y'all to use. Everything's gonna be linked down in the description box. I highly recommend you shop on the weekends because they have free shipping in the US and snag you some great deals and some great activewear. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed seeing the new Yvette clothes and I really hope that you definitely check out Yvette. They have some great quality clothing at such a great price. Everything is linked down in the description box. I hope that I said everything that I was supposed to say to explain it all. If not, it will all be in the description box down below. Be sure to use my discount code and also be sure to try them out on the weekends. And thank you so much Yvette for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate y'all and everything that y'all do for me and for all of my followers and giving them these great discounts. Um, and then the other thing that I want to talk about today was just kind of my future weight loss. I'm sure some of y'all are thinking, oh no, she's going to go off WW, she's going to change what she's doing, all of that stuff. 
That is not going to happen. I love WW. Um, I am going to probably double track though for a little while to track my calories and macros, I think, in my fitness pal, just to kind of keep up with it. This first week back, I just cooked um, a couple of repeat meals that we've had before. I'm just really going to focus on tracking my points, as I always do, um, but I also feel like I need to, to really get off like those last few pounds, um, really kind of watch my calories and maybe see if I need to lower it. I'm just going to kind of see where I'm at for a week or two and then kind of go from there and see, you know, what I want to lower. Um, and if I really want to do like some macro calculations and do like a certain amount of protein, a certain amount of fats and a certain amount of carbs. Now, I personally like to have a high protein diet, so I like to eat about 140 grams of protein a day and then kind of build my fat and carbs around that based on the caloric intake that I decide that I need for myself to lose weight. You know, I think that my weight loss point is around 1800 calories, which I know sounds kind of high, but um, I am going to be picking back up Monday morning with my morning workouts which is a pretty high intensity workout i burn about 550 to 600 calories if you follow me over on instagram um do so because i always kind of post my workouts there and i'll post like the little snapshot from my apple watch so that you can see what i'm burning so i'm burning that much calories like it you know i start walking pretty much around 4 15 in the morning and i work out until about 5 45 um and then i have to get in the shower and get ready for work and all of that stuff and then I'm not even eating my breakfast or anything until I'm on my way to work. So I am burning a lot of calories whenever I do that in the mornings. And then we are planning on adding back in our strength workouts in the evenings. I haven't 100% decided if we're going to continue on doing the same thing that we were doing. Or I have thought about checking out the... Um, app by Whitney Simmons Alive. I know that Brie does that and she loves it. I have not looked at it yet. Um, I like to work out at home. Um, I really don't like to go to the gym. It's just I'm disciplined enough to make myself come upstairs or whatever to work out. We are looking for some more workout equipment to have here. We do have a weight bench. We have a barbell. We have more weight than we'll ever be able to lift to be honest. And um, we also have well, I have my treadmill and then we have a lot of dumbbells, you know, so I have like five pounds, eight pounds. I even have some even smaller than that that I would never, ever use now. Um, but we have some 15 pounds. 12 pounds and 20 pounds. I don't think we have 10 pounds. So like if I lift 10 pound weights, I'll usually just pick up like two of my 10 pound plates. So that's why sometimes you might see me doing my arm movements and instead of using a dumbbell, I might have like a small plate in my hand. That's because I want like a 10 pound and I don't have 10 pound dumbbells, but the plates work just fine. Actually, sometimes they're easier to hold, you know, if you're doing like the shoulders and, you know, doing like the, I don't know what they're called, <laughs> where you raise your arms or whatever um flies and stuff like that but anywho so we just make do with what we have but i am looking for kind of like a total body workout machine or something and i don't know if i'll keep all of that upstairs or if i will kind of build a gym outside um, but again, that is my plan. Um, I'm going to stick with WW. I'm still going to cook pretty much the same meals. Y'all probably won't even know that much of a difference on your end, but on my end, I'm just going to kind of double track. You can let me know down in the comments if y'all want me to share the macros and the calories with y'all, because I know not everybody that watches probably counts WW points. Some people probably do calories or macros or both or whatever. I know on the iTrack Bites app, you can track um, all three or both. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm not going to go to the iTrack Bites app just because I don't want to pay for it. I have my Fitness Pal. A lot of my stuff is already saved in my Fitness Pal because that's what I used prior to doing WW. So I just have a lot of stuff and recipes and everything already kind of built in there. Not all of them, not all of my WW recipes, but some of them I do. Um, so like my cookies and like taco soup and things like that because I have double tracked before whenever 
whenever I've kind of hit a stall like I've been at lately. And I did put on a few pounds in Florida. Um, confession, I gained six pounds, which I know a lot of it is bloating. A couple of pounds have already come off and I've only been home for a couple of days. So I'm really not gonna worry about it for this first week. I just made a couple of normal meals, which you will see in my meal prep video that's coming up on Sunday. But um, yeah, I was a little shocked whenever I stepped on the scale. I was like, holy crap, I gained six pounds. I could feel it though. I could feel it because of the bloatingness. But everybody kept saying how great I looked and rested and everything. I told Charlie, I said, it's because my face was puffy from being bloated. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I could tell like my face was kind of more filled out, which I think um during the normal day-to-day -day, my face is probably a little more sunky and plus i'm a little more tired from lack of sleep so i just don't have that fullness to my face that i had while i was on vacation um so i don't mind it that much but uh again i've been trying to really guzzle water especially like friday and saturday and um Today is Sunday. Whenever I'm filming this video, I have not drank as much water just because I have been busy. I have filmed my meal prep video and then I'm filming this video as well today. So on a busy filming day, it's hard for me to drink as much water as what I need to, but that's one of my goals this week. One thing I've also considered doing is 75 hard. If y'all have done 75 hard, comment down below in the comment section for me and let me know what you think about that. And I'll tell you, I can do all of it except the outside workout part. I know that you're supposed to do two workouts a day and one of them is supposed to be outside. Now, I like to do my cardio first thing in the mornings inside on my treadmill because I'm comfortable with it. There's no way that I'm going to go outside and walk around in my neighborhood. My street's kind of a busier road. It's kind of a cut through. There's no sidewalks or anything to walk on either. And I just don't have the time in the mornings to drive somewhere, nor do I want to be outside walking when it's dark. So that's one reason that I like to work out here on my treadmill in the mornings and just knock it out and get it out of the way. I also feel like like doing the um, planks and the push-ups and everything has really helped like my upper body area. Like I can tell like definition in my shoulders and stuff, even though it's probably been three weeks since Charlie and I have really worked out. I still love to do like what I consider kind of my core workout part, which is push-ups and planks and mountain climbers. And then I do crutches and lower leg lifts and stuff. And I've kind of been doing that for two years. Um, so I am going to continue that part. And so that second workout, technically, if I did 75 hard, would have to be that outside workout. And so that's probably the part that I feel like I would not be able to do. Now, if I moved my workout equipment downstairs, my um, bench press, I mean my bench and my barbell and whatever other exercise equipment and did it in the garage, would that be considered working out outside? Or is that kind of cheating still a little bit? Um, so that's my only problem with doing 75 hard. I do think that is a good way to establish discipline. And y'all know I'm always preaching about discipline and consistency. And one reason is because like this week we went on vacation. I kind of ate halfway good, but I ate probably 75% bad, you know. I mean, y'all saw most of my food. I drank a lot more than what I'm used to. So I was definitely outside that consistency and outside that discipline range. And what did I do? I gained weight. I knew that I was gaining weight while I was down there. I could feel it. Um, but I just allowed myself, I allowed my body to take a break and it's okay. It's going to come back down and we are just going to move forward with it. Yeah, so that is really my plan. So this week I'm going to kind of just ease back into everything and really track my WW points well. I made my cookies. I have my snacks. I have everything ready to go for work. Um, I did all of that meal prep in today. And again, like I said, I'm just going to kind of double track this week with what I made because I didn't like make that in preparation of eating a certain amount of macros or calories if that makes sense. I just want to kind of see where I kind of fall in that range if that makes sense. Just to kind of establish a baseline to see where I really am losing um, and that's one thing that's kind of difficult with Weight Watchers especially once you kind of get down you know to the wire to like that last few pounds. It's like you can eat so many zero point foods, but am I eating too many zero point foods to where it's putting me over my caloric um, intake that I should have to still maintain a weight loss? 
I don't know. And I did this last year because I like plateaued for like three months and then I tracked for a week or two in my fitness pal and I told Charlie, I was like, I'm overeating. You know, I was eating like 2000 calories a day and I didn't really realize it. And so once I dropped back down and to that 1800 range, I immediately started losing again. So anywho, that is the plan. I'm definitely not going to quit WW because I feel like this is a lifestyle that I've developed and I love it. I love, I love the way that I eat and I love really the kind of the way that I'm eating is at a maintenance level. I just really want to get into like the 130s, that 137, 138 range is kind of my goal. Um, so we will see if I get there. I also started reading a book. I did not finish it when I was in Florida, that Body Love by Kelly Levesque, and I have not gotten very far into it. She does have this um, Fab Four smoothie, and she's got some recipes in there, and I may try some of those. I did not pick any of that stuff up this weekend to try it, number one, because my blender is broken. I have to get a new blender if I want to try those smoothies. And number two, I'm not 100% sure I'm on board because y'all know how I am with my bacon and eggs. And then it's like, well, maybe I could like alternate days. You know, some days do the smoothies and some days do the bacon and eggs. And then that way I don't get, I never seem to get burnt out on my bacon and eggs, to be honest. Um, it's just what my body is accustomed to. But I'm not opposed to trying the smoothies. And maybe it's something that I'll do more on the weekends or whatever. We shall see. But I have to order a blender before I can even try it and I'm going to try to look at some of those this weekend. Like I said, if you watch my travel vlog, I am not going to order some $600 blender or anything. I am going to try to find a good one that will make a good smoothie because if it's not good, then I'm not going to like it. Um, and I know hers, you know, you put spinach and fruit and whatever in and it needs, it needs to be a good enough blender to blend everything well and make it nice and smooth or else I won't like to, or else I won't like the consistency. But um, enough about that. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And I hope that y'all, you know, give me some good tips and ideas on how to uh, reach my goals, I guess. I'm always trying to give y'all good tips and ideas, but that doesn't mean that I don't need those as well. I always welcome your feedback. I always love to talk with y'all down in the comment section below. So um, definitely leave me some comments. Let me know what you do. If you track macros, if you track calories, or if you're pure WW, if you've tried 75 hard, or if you're currently doing 75 hard, um, and uh, any kind of workouts. Like I said, I've thought about checking into that Alive by Whitney Simmons app. Um, there is another YouTuber that I follow and she has like some guides and stuff that she puts out. I've thought about checking into her guides just to have something to follow, I guess. Um, so we shall see. But anywho, look forward to my next uh, weekly vlog because hopefully it will have Charlie and I working out again now that we've got vacation out of the way and kind of all of that is behind us. I am ready to, you know, hunker down and just get the job done and focus back on really tone in my body and I really hate to use the word toning because really what I want to do is build muscle at this point um, and then still just lose like that last few pounds that I need to lose plus those few that I gained in Florida but anyhow I love you guys thank you so much for watching do all of the things like subscribe um, it really helps support my channel whenever you do that and I appreciate each and every one of y'all I hope that you know that and I love you guys and I will see you in the next video